tell you. I joined Planet Fitness today. That's what I'm leaving right now. I joined them today and I went and took a shower. I hope that wasn't a mistake. The reason I say that is because the place was a mess. I went into the showers, it was filthy. When I asked the attendant about it, she said, well, we don't have any guys on staff today to clean it. And I'm like, well, you ladies could go in there and clean it. And like, oh no, we're not doing that. So, is this what I'm gonna find every Planet Fitness I go to, a filthy bathroom? Maybe I should go to Anytime Fitness. They have clean bathrooms, I've seen. Anyway, Planet Fitness, man, you can do a lot better than that. Come on, get your act together and clean those bathrooms. Anyway, I'm going back to Ocala, I believe. I thought I was going to go to Osceola, but I'm going to go back to Ocala because uh, I don't want to get too far away from Tampa. I have a doctor's appointment coming up that I'll have to go to in a couple weeks, so there's no sense in me leaving the state or anything like that right now. So it's going to be back to Ocala, find us another camping spot, and enjoy the woods. Bumpy. <clears throat> this is uh, near Davenport Landing in the Ocala National Forest. And Davenport Landing was a uh, old steamboat landing on the river back here. check it out as much as we can. I don't know how far back here I can get. Enjoy a scenery like this. It makes me wish I had my kayak. I should, but I, I just don't. That's all there is to it. But I'm going to certainly get my kayak, or I might have to buy a new one. And uh, I want to start carrying one around with me because places like this, I mean. You just got to put it in the water and go. There was some fellas out here fishing a little while ago. They caught some small ones. This is a bunch of small fish, but nothing big enough for them, to, so they moved on. Um, I got my campsite set up over there. But first, let me tell you about where we're at. This is um, called Davenport Landing. And what this was, was a uh, landing for a steamboat. Now, you can see this river right here. It's not very wide, so you're not talking about one of those big Mississippi steamboats. You're obviously talking about a smaller type of steamboat that'd be running goods or something like that uh, further on inland up this little river. But they still have the steps here. You can see, you know, the old steps. And you can, look, you still got the old iron in there. That's hammer, hammer work right there. The iron, the old pylons. But this was obviously the steps when it was a, a active working little port for the steamboat. Let's go check out my camp. This is the van all set up, ready for camp. You can see my grill. I'm ready to make my fire. I think it's a little later. I'm not ready for dinner yet. And I know I'm not going to want to fire much past dinner. Got my table set up. Water, stove, in case I need it. Also, up here, you might like this. <laughs> the chicken I'm going to have is frozen solid. <clears throat> I have to tell you, that Epicool T50 right there, love it. Love it. It keeps my chicken and everything else frozen on the freezing side. Everything else I want just cool in the fridge, perfect. Nice to have a cold soda when I want it. Of course, I got my stove out just in case... 
I want to um, make some coffee or something. I can do that. But that's it. That's my camp. And uh, I'm parked in the shade. Now, there's not room for my solar panels here. So I don't think I can stay here past the day. I'll need to charge up my batteries eventually. But that's a problem to worry about later. It's all right. Let's get the chicken on the grill. Okay, I'm just gonna put this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Hold tight. Let's see. Hold on, I think I kind of can. So here we go. All right, chicken's on. Okay. This, one All right. this is the leftover peas and corn from my meal the other day. With my fridge, I can now save my leftovers and reuse and reheat them. Oh, let's check up on the chicken. I already flipped it once. I could have left it a little longer probably, but there's no harm in that. Sometimes the flare-up makes me want to move it. I'm going to put that into the boiling water. That's way too much water, but some of that water is going to go towards my mashed potatoes, too. All right. <laughs> Are you jealous yet? Are you just a little bit jealous? Okay. This Texas toast is just too much. I got to try a little bite. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's super delicious. It's made on Hawaiian sweet bread, so it's really, really good. I am going to get the rest of my dinner off the grill, and then, uh, you know, we'll chat a little bit. Um, my Texas toast I made, corn and peas, chicken, mashed potatoes with some peas and corns in it, my drink. That's it. That's my meal for tonight. What's left over goes into some soup tomorrow afternoon for lunch. But I don't think there'll be much left over. Anyway, let me eat this, and uh, we'll get back together later in just a second, and, and, and we'll have some final thoughts about that. Wow, y'all. That dinner was delicious. Excuse me, i got to watch where I'm going. I'm out of the edge. I don't want to fall into the water. You know what? Let's uh, let's get away from the water. Let's walk inland more and uh, watch the sun go down and uh, talk about what's going on. Aren't these twisted live oaks neat? These aren't that old. They can become giants. And look at those tall pines. I just love all those pine trees. They're so cool looking. Sun's about to set. You know, I guess that's going to draw the curtain down on this little production as well. Let's put this video to bed by saying... Enjoy yourself if you're going to come out to Ocala National Forest. Uh, I'm at Davenport Landing. That's 
a real sweet place to be. Very safe, very quiet. There's a few campers out here, but they're all pretty nice. Uh, no problems with bears or anything like that. Just follow the rules of the park and you'll get along just fine. If you like the video, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and the notification button and all the other buttons. Also, you might consider joining me on BitChute or Patreon. Those are different platforms, but you might like to check those out as well. Anyway, you guys have a good night and uh, we'll see you. We'll get together, actually, on the next video.